Different valves used in different applications are operated in different ways. Methods of operation include manual operation, electrical operation, hydraulic operation, and pneumatic operation. The purpose of the valve and the frequency of operation will determine the method of operation. Valves that are exposed will usually have hand wheels for manual operation. Buried valves will usually have a 2 inch square operating nut that allows the operator to use a special valve operating tool to operate the valve from above ground. Small motors can be used to operate valves by rotating the valve stem by the use of a gearbox. Limit switches are used to turn off the motor once the valve reaches the fully open or fully closed position. Some motor-operated valves allow for throttling in which the valve is partially open. Water treatment plant and pumping station valves are commonly operated by hydraulic pressure. Solenoid valves allow the hydraulic fluid to operate the valve by directing the fluid to operating cylinders which position the isolation valves. Pneumatic valve actuators operate in a similar manner to hydraulic actuators. Rather than hydraulic fluid being used as the operating force, compressed air is used. This requires sufficient reserve capacity of compressed air to allow for continued operation should there be a power failure. Valve actuators should normally operate slowly to prevent water hammer in the system. However, pump discharge valves should close relatively quickly to prevent motor reversal due to backflow when the power is lost. Actuator speed is adjustable by throttling the adjustable needle valves to increase or decrease actuator air or hydraulic fluid flow. 